Brava Cedar Shake Installation Video Series Part 1 Field Shake Layout and Installation Brava Cedar Shakes must be installed to a minimum 15 32nd inch CDX plywood deck or equal on a minimum slope of 312. It is recommended that Brava Cedar Shake not be installed when the material is below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. For complete substrate preparation, product handling, and other pre-construction considerations, please consult the printed documentation at bravarooftile.com. All flashing, ice and water shield, and underlayment must be installed before shake installation. Verify compliance with applicable codes and or industry practices. For best results, use the provided job site packing list to easily identify shakes and accessories. Load the bundles of shakes and accessories in the correct locations on the roof. Bundles should be selected from multiple pallets to ensure proper color blending. All shakes and accessories should be inspected before and during installation for conformity and fit. Standard field shakes have a structural ribbing on the back. Optional solid shakes are available to provide a clean solid edge when cut at rake, valley, and other details. Having the products correctly loaded on the roof ensures a smooth installation. Prior to installing starters, check for roof square and correct significant out of square conditions. Brava Cedar Shakes should be installed in a randomized pattern using the varied shake widths. Exposures can be varied to produce a staggered look if desired. Installation begins with a row of tapered starters which measure 12 inches by 12 inches. Installation can begin at the center of the roof or at either side of the roof as shown. Install with two fasteners into preformed fastener locators. Fasteners can be nails or screws depending on application and code requirements. Snap a horizontal chalk line as a reference and place the starter course. Fasteners must penetrate through the deck or 3 quarter inches into the deck. We recommend a 3 8 inch spacing between each starter. Provide a 1 inch overhang at the rake edge and a 1 half inch overhang at the eave edge. If a starter must be cut to complete the course, place the factory edge to the outside. Install the first course of shake. Brava Cedar shakes are 22 inches in length and are manufactured in three widths. 5 inch, 7 inch, and 12 inch. Each shake has a pre-marked guideline to set the maximum exposure. Brava Cedar shakes also feature pre-molded fastener locators. Fasten shakes over the starter pieces using two fasteners per shake at fastener locators. Fasteners can be nails or screws depending on application and code requirements. Fasteners must penetrate through the deck or 3 quarter inches into the deck. Using a combination of shake widths, ensure side laps are no less than 1 and a half inches. This is done by varying the shake selection and randomizing between the 5, 7, and 12 inch shakes. After the first course, use the exposure guidelines as a reference to set and install the successive courses to achieve maximum exposure. If desired, a chalk line can be snapped at the head of the shake for chosen exposure. Verify proper exposure during installation for applicable codes, project specifications, and or industry best practices. Provide a 3 8 inch spacing between shakes. A proper installation should not leave exposed fasteners in the keyways. Do not leave fasteners in any of the exposed surface areas. If desired for a natural aesthetic, use solid shakes at the rake edge. 
Solids come in 12 inch widths. When cutting solids, ensure factory edge is to the outside. Continue the installation using cut solid shakes and full solid shakes at the rake edge. As a reminder, here are your keys to success. 10 inch maximum exposure. One and a half inch minimum side lap. One inch rake overhang. 3 16 inch minimum keyway gap. One half inch eave overhang. For more videos and information, visit us online at bravaroofstyle.com.